An open letter signed by Elon Musk is calling for a pause on the development of more powerful artificial intelligence systems, citing risks to society and humanity. Musk's Tesla is currently using AI for its self-driving cars, but the CEO has raised security concerns about AI along with 1,000 artificial intelligence experts and industry leaders. The letter calls on developers working on systems more powerful than OpenAI's newly launched GPT-4 to pause their work for six months to make time for safety protocols that would prevent potential economic and political disruptions. Well, earlier I asked Sulfikar Abani from DW Science what is meant by the risk of potential economic and political disruptions. That is an incredibly good question, to use a cliche. Um, if you read between the lines, what I think is happening here is you've got a bunch of incredibly intelligent people, incredibly powerful as well in the tech industry, saying, oh, whoops, what have we done here? And they're almost screaming, we need outside help. I mean, if I was, if you were to allow me a slight editorialization here, this is a bit like a country developing a nuclear bomb, dropping it, and then saying, oh, wow, is that what it does? And then being surprised when other countries want to develop one as well to protect themselves. They really don't know what they're doing here. And they say it as well at the top of the letter that, even the experts don't truly understand, can't predict or reliably control these sorts of incredibly powerful, um, as they call them, human competitive AI, artificial intelligence systems. Um, so it's, it's very difficult to know. But what they do, and they're also quite telling here, they're calling for capable regulatory authorities, well-resourced institutions to cope with the dramatic economic and political disruptions. So they're kind of saying this is already out of control. Control. We need outside help. We are unable to regulate ourselves. Um, and quite rightly, you know, Elon Musk, it's a bit disingenuous, really, because Elon Musk has raised concerns about artificial intelligence for years and yet has continued to invest in um, uh, artificial intelligence, was on the board of OpenAI, right. uh, is still an advisor. So it's a bit of a weird situation, and it has been called sort of moral panic um, that, we, that we've seen since the start of the year. Plenty to digest there, Sophie Carr. <laughs> what safety <laughs> protocols could be implemented from, uh, I think you've touched on it there a little bit, uh, but what could we potentially be seeing? Well, I think, first of all, we, it would be quite wise to slow down the, um, the de deployment of AI. Uh, and I think that's sort of what they're talking about. So, And it goes counter to their very principle of open AI, releasing something and allowing the public to get acquainted with it, to become aware of AI and to use it and to become I, I get a, an understanding of what it does. And at the same time, not unleashing this in such a way that it becomes an uncontrollable live experiment on the world population as it is. You know, every time you feed a, a query into open AI, into a, a, an a artificial intelligence like this, you are actually helping it get stronger, get more intelligent. And so maybe they're, like I say, maybe they are saying, you know, we need to roll this back. They don't want to have more powerful um, uh, artificial intelligence systems to come into place. And they want to have government bodies. They want to have educational institutions, I'm sure, as well, to get on the right page, to get to get up to mm. speed with, with this artificial intelligence. So they're basically, I really do feel, if I'm, again, allowed to editorialize just a little bit, to read between the lines, because it's quite sort of vague, this open letter, they're asking for outside help. They're saying, we've unleashed mm. something here that perhaps we shouldn't have. So it's difficult to know what exactly they want in detailed terms, but they are saying we need to slow this down somewhat, even though the genie is very much out of the bottle, including many more cliches where that one came from. Plenty to digest there, Sulfikar. I'll be thinking about this after the show. Sulfikar Abani from DW Science.